Today we have one of Malaysia's most prominent acoustic guitar players. His fingerstyle techniques has been inspiring a lot of young fingerstylist acoustic player in Malaysia. He's also a very good masterclass teacher. Today we have Us Saman. Hi. Thanks for coming. Thanks. It's a great Thanks. honor to be here. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. So I have uh, I have two of my most used guitars here. This is. A Loudon F35C Blackwood Adirondack. Oh, it's a beautiful so guitar. It's a pretty guitar, especially at the back here. Nice Blackwood. The electric is this one, which is a William Jeffrey Jones Proteus electric guitar. So this is a handmade electric uh, by a single builder uh, from the US, and this one is by a, a team, an amazing team. I'll tell you a little bit of story about the guitar. See. Uh, for many years, I really wanted a Loudon, and for many, and they're really expensive guitars, so it was out of my price range. And what happened was, I was talking to um, one of my teachers, Thomas Leap, who's a Loudon and Dorsey, and he has a signature model. So this was just before he got his signature model, he was selling off one of his guitars, so it was this one. Gave me a good price and on it, and so I got this one. The main thing about this guitar is, it's basically it was his, one of his touring guitars. So everything on it, I just said, you know, just leave all the pickups on it. Okay. So like the pickups on it, there is uh, this. this Misai pickup and there's a KNK uh, Trinity system inside. There's actually two outputs here. So one is stereo and that's for the KNK and then there's a mono output for the Misai. I don't use this one as much, I just left it there for now. It's a scratch plate, so it's basically to do percussive sounds, scratchy sounds on the guitar. Uh, this was actually a thing that um, came about from another one of my teachers, Eric Roach. He was a columnist for Guitar Techniques magazine and he was uh, actually doing doing all these sounds on the body of the guitar. And uh, you know that's a great way to destroy a guitar just through the finish. There's a microphone here, there's, so the KNK mic is there and then the, it has the transducers underneath here for, um, so there's no piezo on this. Some of my favorite local guitarists are usually actually people also sing as well. Uh, example, uh, Melina William, uh, who is the guitarist and songwriter, bass player actually for uh, Tempered Mental. She's one of my favorite guitar players. Uh, another, another really amazing guy is uh, Pitio, who is an amazing singer, songwriter, and um, he's the first person I saw using a Loudon in Malaysia. And he told me I should get a Loudon, and uh, he also gave me a lot of advice during my first album. It, you should definitely uh, invest in a good instrument and a good instrument doesn't mean that it's an expensive instrument. I think it's just a matter of finding the right instrument for you. So we, you know, we may read articles you know, that Nels Klein uses this guitar and you know, this person uses this guitar. But you want to find something that fits your style, something that fits uh, the way you play, something that fits your hands. Don't get a big guitar if you very, have very small fingers. You know? uh, the other thing is after you've gotten your instrument, to learn how to play it. And I find that a lot of people are very, sometimes you know, you get really obsessed about upgrading, buying, oh I got this pedal, and then you want to get another delay pedal, another delay pedal, another delay pedal. And the thing is, right, all, the only thing that the second, third, and fourth delay pedals are doing is delaying your practice, because you haven't been practicing. Buying more delay pedals will delay your practice. This is the other advice, buy picks. Buy tons of picks. This is basically like a, an assortment of EQ pedals. Last advice, is learn how to play and keep learning, never stop. I still take lessons, I take lessons via Skype. I took a lesson with this guy Julian Lodge in New York via Skype. I took a lesson with another amazing tap, tapping eight string guitarist, George Martin uh, from Little Tybee. Um, so I still invest in education. So I think every time you, um, you learn your equipment, you know, you should also spend some time learning your craft and getting better at it. I'm writing new music every month now and it's on a website called patreon.com p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com slash asamat and the way this is useful is that every time I release a new song you can get the song before anyone else and if you want to invest more you, you can also spend three dollars you get the stories behind the songs I tell you what's the inspiration behind it if you spend like ten dollars I'll give you free video lessons that I don't give anyone else. I give PDFs, uh, guitar lesson notes that I usually give uh, to my students. And then there's also another option where you can get uh, like kind of a video conferencing Skype where we can chit chat about. It. You have to pay a lot for the song. You can pay a little bit, but continue to support me for a year. So by the end of the year, hopefully I can release 12 songs. And the thing is, I don't have, I don't have too many people supporting me on Patreon yet, but one of my supporters is actually Nat Natalie Dawn uh, from Pomplamoose. You know, if you want to support, check out patreon.com slash asamat and 
uh, you can get my music before anyone else, and then we maybe, maybe we can hang out and all that kind of stuff. So cool. See you there.